We are now going to review how to transfer an image from the iPod Touch to a computer and specifically to a folder on the computer that can then be put into a patient's record. Assuming we've already taken that picture and now we want to transfer it, we're going to go into review images. We're then going to identify the patient by the code that hopefully we transcribed or put into the patient's chart previously, and then highlight that patient. We then are gonna have all the images available under that patient's code, and then we, at that point, determine which images do we wanna transfer. So let's just say that we wanna transfer the latest image, and we'll just put buccal mucosal. Again, you can always add information if we so desire. Um, if we did not put it in there previously. At this point, we have two options of how to transfer that image. The first one is to send it via email to yourself or to someone in the office, from which then they can download that image and, and obviously put it into the patient's chart at that point, just like if you were to receive an image from someone from outside of the office. The other option is to, again, press the send button and then put copy to photos. So what this does now is take the image from the Velscope app and transfer that into the iPod fo photos folder from which we then have to access. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to attach our iPod touch to the computer with the USB cable that comes with the iPod. For our video purposes, we are going to disconnect And as soon as we connect the iPod to your computer, it will immediately open the folder from which those images are stored on the iPod. At this point, we then identify which images that we want to transfer. Um, my recommendation is determine who, what folder you should want to transfer those, whether that be directly to the patient's chart, if you can do that with your imaging software, or excuse me, with your uh, practice management software, or if you want to uh, just put it onto a separate folder from which to transfer later. So we're just gonna say we've set up an, a folder, Apple Smith, and then those images are going to be transferred to uh, that folder. Thank you so much for being a Velscope user. If you have any additional questions, please go to www.velscope.com.